I had one of my viewers send me an email and ask me how a pipe wrench worked and how to use it. So I'm going to do a couple of videos on pipe wrenches. And I had to actually do a little bit of learning myself. I've used them all my life, but I've never really looked close at how they work. The pipe wrench was designed <clears throat> probably many, many moons ago to solve a unique problem. How do you grip something that's round? Well, that was wrought iron pipe and cast iron. It's round, so how do you get something to grip onto it to tighten or loosen? That was kind of an interesting problem. Let's see how this silly thing does it. To illustrate how this thing works, I'm going to use a very old pipe wrench. I'm not even sure what the brand is of that thing. Now I want you to look at how it's put together. Especially around here. Now I want you to note what happens. This thing rocks back and forth. It looks like it's just loose. There's actually a little pivot right there on this one. And there's a spring here that I'm not sure it does much anymore. But uh, that's how that wrench is actually designed. It's actually designed to pivot there. And of course you get an adjustment for larger and smaller pipe. Well what happens when a piece of pipe is actually put in this jaw? What I want you to note is when I put this in there and I start to turn it I want you to look at that bottom jaw. Now I'm holding this one down, this part here down. Now as I start to pull on this, this thing's going to rock back. You see now this isn't up against this like it was before. It's actually pulled out and it's pivoting on this arm. Well once it's pulled out, this jaw moves up, this jaw attempts to move back. See that jaw moving that way? It's angled down this way. So when you go to rotate, it's actually fairly loose as you put the pipe in there. But as this piece, as you start pulling towards you, this piece here is jamming up here and this piece here is pushing back. Now you see this is way out there. Here it's way down there. But as I pull, it moves out. And this is kind of a gummer. I'll tell you what a gummer is in a minute. But the harder I pull, the more it grips. Now, what I meant by a gummer, if you look close at these teeth, they're not in the greatest shape and these aren't as gummy as a lot of them but sometimes these things get a little bit rounded off in here and we call them a gummer because they ain't got no teeth by that rocking motion that's pivoted right there it will jam okay trying this with a here's a newer one this one's a little different although it has the same kind of movement if I put this in here like this and I adjust it down, and you usually want to adjust it towards the back of these teeth. If you adjust too far, then it just slips around. But if you get it fairly close back there, you get your best leverage. You can see as I pull this tight, that this piece starts rocking back. See, so it starts rocking back towards the back. And the tighter I pull, the tighter this gets. These will sometimes flatten the pipe uh, if you can't get it, get it off. But you can see that it's this looseness that allows it to jam. This one here, 
Uh, it does the same thing. It just seems a little tighter, but it does the same thing. So I guess you could call it the jam wrench or something like that if you wanted to. But that is the pipe wrench. And in the next video, we'll show you how we actually use the pipe wrench.